For the server to verify the token, we first need to send the token from the browser to the server. And the way we achieve that is using Angular's HTTP interceptor. The HTTP interceptor basically intercepts outgoing HTTP requests, transforms them, and then sends it to the server. The interceptor we will be implementing will modify the request to contain the token that is stored in the browser's local storage. So in this video, let's implement the token interceptor service. The first thing we need to do is generate the service using Angular CLI. So open the terminal, navigate inside the ng app folder, and over here, run the command ng, g for generate, s for service, and then the name of the service, which is going to be token interceptor. Once the file is generated, open it. And over here, first let's import HTTP interceptor. So import HTTP interceptor from angular slash common slash HTTP. Next, we are going to make the class implement the HTTP interceptor interface. Token interceptor service implements HTTP interceptor. Now by asking the class to implement the interface, we have to define an intercept method. Intercept, the method takes two arguments, the request and next to pass on the execution. Within the method, first let's make a clone of the request. So let tokenized request is equal to request.clone. And to the cloned request, let's add to the header the authorization information. So set headers. This is going to be an object. The key is authorization. And the value is the token, but in a convention known as the bearer token. The format is the word bearer followed by a space, followed by the actual token value. For now, let's hard code a JSON web token. So let's go with a valid format, xx.yy.zz. And then we pass on the execution by returning next.handle and passing in the tokenized request. All right, this should be sufficient to test if the interception is working. So let's register this interceptor service in the app module. Go to app.module.ts and first import HTTP interceptors. So next to HTTP client module, HTTP interceptors. Next import the token interceptor service. So we're here, import it, and then add the service to the providers array. Now this is slightly different. So go to the providers array and over here, we are going to specify an object. Now the object is going to accept three properties. The first one is provide. So we are providing HTTP interceptor. And we mentioned the class to be used. So use class, and then it is the token interceptor service class. And finally, we set a property multi to be true so that we can use multiple interceptors if required. All right, let's save this and test it out. Go back to the browser, open the DevTools, and go to the network panel. I'm gonna clear the log, and now I'm gonna navigate to the events view. And if I click on this events API, if I scroll down, you can see that the request headers now has authorization. And then the authorization value is the bearer token. Better followed by a space, followed by the JSON web token. So the interceptor is now working. Next, let's send the actual token instead of this hard-coded token value. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's create a new method in the auth service that fetches the token value. So the method is going to be get token, and it is going to return local storage, dot get item token. All right, now we can use this in the token interceptor service. So go back to token interceptor service and import auth service. 
but the way we inject auth service is slightly different. We are not going to directly inject it in the constructor. This is because of a cyclic dependency error that might occur. Although it is supposed to be fixed in the latest release of Angular, there are still open issues on GitHub. So I'm going to show you a way that is going to work for sure, even though it's slightly different. We will be using the injector. So over here, import injectable and also injector from angular slash core. Next, we are going to inject it. So in the constructor, private injector of type injector. And then we are going to use this injector to get an instance of the auth service. So in the intercept method, let auth service is equal to this dot injector dot get auth service. And we can use this to get the token. So instead of hard coded token, we are going to fetch the actual token. I'm going to change this to backticks and then dollar with a pair of curly braces auth service dot get token. So this is the ES6 syntax to directly embed the value of the token as part of this string. All right, our HTTP interceptor is finally done. Let's test it out one last time. Go back to the browser and make sure that there is a token in the local storage. So we have this dummy token. Let's delete it. And let's log in to add a valid token. I'm gonna go with a at a.com. And then the password is a login and then refresh. You should see the token present. Now let's go to the network panel, clear the log. And if I navigate to events and click on the events API, you can see that we have the authorization, the bearer token. So the word bearer followed by the actual JSON web token. All right. Now that we have sent the token to the server, let's see how to verify it in the backend.